TV, where we make good medicine. In my early 20s, I was diagnosed HIV positive, and I was told that I had three months left to live. And through a very long, difficult journey of depression, anxiety, um, suicide, a multitude of problems, I'm lucky to be here today because of St. Paul's Hospital. They were the only hospital that opened their doors and opened their hearts during the beginning of the epidemic. And on behalf of the community and on behalf of the men and women who are now here and some of them who are gone, uh, I reached out to the community to see who would be interested in giving back. And it was unanimous. <laughs> And so, um, where would the, the funds for the programming go? Like, uh, I guess the Canadian Mental Health Association has uh, branches across the country. And yeah, every year is different. Last year was very much uh, focused on women and their families. So they're starting up a new program um, called Enjoy, Enjoying Your Baby. Um, and it was addressing uh, women and their, 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 some women have postpartum issues. stories from Sailor Seas, where we will bring you on a journey, West Coast Indigenous perspective. We will explore arts, culture, and politics from grassroots as well as community perspectives. With the crime rate on a steady decline, Canada could be seen as a very safe place. A policy enforcement officer that's what uh, the police are, the RCMP. Uh, they're actually policy enforcement officers. You know, the peace officer, policy officer thing, I, I think a lot of people might find that confusing, right? I know a lot of people are frustrated with those sort of things. So is, is that what you mean by policy officer? Is yeah. someone who's kind of just saying, you broke the rules, but you have it when nobody's really hurt anyone? Is that kind of the exactly. idea? Exactly. What makes them a peace officer is if they swear an oath to, to serve and protect, and that's not what they seem to be doing, and that's that's why we want to make a change. Think of your children and your grandchildren while you are death. Today's episode is all about childhood. Today, it's about art. I want to show you stories from your own backyard. Stories in standard death.
Under the night sky, Raven told the men about the world, for they did not know anything about it. They listened and ate and asked questions. What is all this stuff? 